What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idol Heroes, and today we have some of our evil meme team. So, we are still progressing, we are leveling up our heroes as we go. Actually, what do we have for spirit? Ooh, yeah, we're kind of stuck on spirit. Man, I didn't even think about this until now. I wonder... Oh, these are the baby chests. Darn. I mean, it's better than nothing. This is the big chest, I think. Hold on, let's see. So one thing you guys might not have noticed, I mentioned it a few times in videos previously. There is a brand new marketplace pack, 100 million, not purple goo, green goo. There we go, spirit for 150 million gold. Uh, for the big spenders out there, these are really worth it because leveling up your heroes is going to take an absolute ton of spirit. Not necessarily as much gold, but spirit is going to take a lot. So, ooh, that's still not even enough. So, you know, yeah, I think, mm, mm, can't decide. How much gold do you get? There's a better ratio, in my opinion, for us to take this spirit here. I think that's going to be the better option. I totally forgot we had this even in our bag. Good lord, guys. It's been a while since I've actually paid attention to see what's been going on on the, uh, on the meme team here. Okay, all right, interesting. Well, first things first. Let's get our Drake leveled up to 345 as well. And then after that, I think we start working on the Aspen. Get him going. Of course, we're going to need a lot more spirit. A lot, a lot, a lot more spirit. So we'll keep buying it. Um, It might be worthwhile. I mean, I know it's not. It's like one-fifth of the gold that I get on my, uh, my main account. But it might be worthwhile buying some of these. I mean, again, it's, I know it's not a lot, but... We're gonna need some gold to do some spirit transitions here, but at least we have a lot of our team powered up now. We're gonna do a few team, few, few things today. So first things first, we're gonna do some void gate. We got some energy built up. Uh, let's see here. So we have a mine down the bottom. So this is a normal chest. This is a normal chest. I think what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna run something like this i think this is the path we're gonna take that way we can get the mine because you really really want to hit every single mine you can so i think that's what we want to do we're not going to get all the way across oh it looks like we have to enter here first all right so overall uh what's our difficulty to 11 i think that's the max i can set it right now correct oh no we can do 12 on this okay we definitely want to up it to the highest difficulty possible okay good thing we checked let's check out just to see how our team is doing against these PvP lineups. I think we're going to be perfectly fine, honestly, but it doesn't hurt just to check, just to see. It does look like we're going to do good here. Yeah. Yeah, 12 shouldn't be much of an issue for us on the evil meme team. Come on, ticks, just boom, boom, and then finish it off, Aspen. There we go. Nice. All right, getting those resources. So, yeah, it should be fine. We shouldn't have to worry about watching fights and potentially dying. I mean, full E5 lineups. You really shouldn't run into any problems until you get into like maybe the 20s, the Void Corruption 20 area. So, not too bad. Uh, we did say we were going to go down because we want to get to that mine right there. I do highly recommend you guys just taking the time and doing this and not auto smashing. Uh, the one reason auto smashing can be bad is because if you do get that mine node, the game will actually, the auto smash will not put a hero into the mine. Um, I, you basically have to pick a hero that you leave in the mine until you finish out that level. And by smashing it, you don't put it in, which means you don't get all of those amazing resources that mine is giving you. So it's not good. Take it from me, guys. Just trust me. It's, you do not want to smash if there is a mine on the battlefield. <laughs> just, just do this right here. It, I know it takes a little bit of time. But in reality, it's not that bad going through doing this. Oh, okay, we got a chest. Ooh, so this is the high roll. This is the chest you do want to find. Anything that's gonna give you heroes in a faster order, this, nah, it's not that great. Oh, it's a trap. Some of these can turn into traps and then you have to win the fight to actually get the resource. Oh no, we don't have the energy. Is there anything else down here? Nope. So we'll have to come back to this one once we have the uh, energy to actually do it. What do we need to get done? We are all set on our monthlies. All our monthlies are done. They're going to reset in two days. 
Uh, we're not really buying any of these, although that spirit would be amazing. I think we're just doing a hard pass. We did one loop in light and dark, so we had the food. We did that. We don't have the relic, so sadly, I would love to buy. Absolutely love to buy a Punisher Staff here, but I cannot afford it here. So yeah, let's gear up our team. So we're going to be building both of these guys very offensive. So that means that comes off of you. And where's the other one? That comes off you. So we are going to be running two ticks. They're going to be our main carry heroes in Aspen Dungeon. The first one, of course, is going to be getting that Punisher Staff with those all red enables. Looks good. The second one, we need all red enables once again. And I'm guessing we're just going to run an Antler's Cane on this one. We just need these guys to do a ton of damage. Uh, we get the same stone on both, which is nice. We do not have any six-star gear, I don't think. Although we do. You know what? We could run one of them very, very offensive. So the first ticks, we're going to set up with a 1-3 setup. That looks good. Give the extra crit. That way... Actually, do we need the crit? No, we don't need the crit. Let's actually replace this one right here. Aspen, I guess we're going to throw a Rui on you and just see what happens. Maybe, maybe he can somehow make this work. You know what? I'm actually going to go with tanky enables on top of that. Maybe he can horrify his way to victories. We'll have to see. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Um, you, we're not going to have anything on you. I mean, actually, we can throw some gear on. She might come in handy. Maybe. One, two, three, four. Nah, we're not even going to use Amon Ra. Nope. You are sitting. Drake, we are going to use. What artifact, though? I guess we throw on, like... Hmm. Damage reduction or AMB? I guess we use AMB on him. I mean, this is very suboptimal. You'd want a Punisher Staff on a Drake. But you know, guys, we're we're grabbing at straws here. Essentially, there's not much we can do on this account for Aspen Dungeon. So we're just doing the best with what we have. Got to leave the speed attack stone. So that'll be fine. We'll jump into Aspen Dungeon with our team here. The one in the dead center is going to be the super offensive one. That is good. 20, 16, 20, and 8 demon potions. That's pretty decent. I got to say I like that. Give me all those. I'm buying profit orbs. Yes, I am. Let's buy those up. Actually, we don't want to buy too many of these gold offers. We're probably only looking for spirit, spirit, and coins. I'm not even going to buy PvP. Because, again, we, we just don't PvP all that much on this account. And we have, like, over a 1,000. So it feels worth, kind of worthless. Um, okay. Okay. Don't know if Tix does a solo Valkyrie. Should be able to because he's got the energy on round two. Yeah, he's going to take a lot of damage, but that energy should just tap her completely out. Easy enough. Um, We'll just give a little bit there. I don't think this is going to be a problem here. We should be able to get an active off and kill the Gru, I think. Oh, actually, we're going to get a little bit more energy. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, I don't know if I like this one. Can we get away... I feel like we go with the tankier ticks. Uh, it's just high roll. Someone has to crit me, please. Yes, we got the crit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Big active. There we go. Clearing that wave. Nice and easy. Oh, no. Oh, no. So I think we are just going to use a demon potion on this ticks. Yeah, because we can't. There's no way we can clear it with, uh, with that twine from that Oberon. So... Got to use a demon potion on that wave. Back to a solo Horus. Let's get this ticks back up and healthy. I think normally you could probably two tap him if you had zero energy, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, They're going to steal energy. Is that good or is that bad? I almost feel like using Aspen here. Just to see if Aspen can somehow get an active... Uh, not really. Not really. That Horrify, though, is pretty nice. Okay, right here, we are using the Drake on this wave. Active should do a lot of damage. There we go. I love facing that wave with the Drake. Let's throw Aspen back in. Maybe he somehow manages to get energy. 
I feel like we have a good chance with this. Ah, oh, he just does so much damage to that Omivore. So much. I'm kind of like the Ruby Scepter, though. I gotta admit it. Building him like super tank mode? Not a bad idea. So let's actually use this Ticks. This one's gonna do slightly less damage. Maybe we can somehow get full energy with two more basics. Oh, yeah, we did. Just because he's weaker, he's not gonna deal as much damage, which lets us get off another one, which means we have a free demon potion right there. Carrie, it's up to you. This is your wave right here, Carrie. We need you for that solo Amon Ra. It just makes it so, so simple with Carrie. So we have energy on a Carrie again. Ooh, I don't like this wave. I don't like this wave at all. Tix really struggles against Ada's. I... Can I wait for... No, I think I gotta just use energy. I don't think I can wait for a round two active on Aspen. I think he might just die. Yeah, because we're not gonna be doing a ton of damage, and he still died. That's crazy. I mean, it's the Rui Scepter. That's exactly why he didn't do all that well. Um, Is Carry gonna do anything here? Do we use carry or do we just go in with the ticks? I, I I just feel like the ticks is gonna struggle here. Maybe carry can pull something out of a hat, wrap it out of the hat, or she can just weaken them up and then the ticks, yeah, then we'll just send the ticks in right here and he shouldn't have a problem cleaning up, which kind of sucks that we wasted the Aspen, but the Aspen is kind of a waste anyway, because he can't really do much. He's amazing getting you to death one, but after you're at death one, like, he just falls off extremely hard. All right, we're going to use the tanky one again. Someone crit. Yeah, there we go. We got an active. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We love, love quad waves like that. Ooh. Can he live? This is going to be a test. We're going to literally top him up and throw him in there. See if he can live through four basics here. Oh, no, he didn't get crit. Oh, how do four Valkyries attack and none of them crit? That is insanity. I mean, I feel like we just got a high roll now. We, we're going to need these demon potions. I mean, I know if this stops the run right here. Okay, we got a crit that time. That's what was supposed to happen the first time. You get a crit, which means one of them gives you 20 energy instead of 10, and you're fine. Yep, that was what was supposed to happen with the other ticks. But somehow, the Valkyries dropped the ball and just did not crit whatsoever. All right, all right. So, oh, they're just really draining our demon potions. Are we even going to get to 21? I don't know. I don't know. We need to use... I mean, do we high roll it? No, no, no. This is Oberon. Sorry, I was thinking it was quad Valks. This one, we absolutely cannot high roll it. We just need to kill those Oberons immediately. We cannot let them stay. All right, all right. So, this should be fine right here, I think. Should be good. Granted, we have to use an active, which kind of feels bad, but it is what it is. We cleared the wave. We're not going to farm energy on that one. Uh, Solo Cthuga. Oh, think we can two tap him let's see maybe ah not quite darn so close so so close if we had a better punisher staff we would be able to farm so much more energy here and we're gonna run out of potions and milks maybe i'm being a little too uh too up front oh no darn darn we need that energy Double Sigmund. Um, we're going to run low on potions here. That's going to be a big issue. Don't die, don't die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it gets so scary sometimes watching this hero fight without a healer or anything like that. Insane burst potential, but... Oh, she didn't drain the energy. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, so it would have been would have been wasted anyway so not a big deal there big active now this one i think we might kill the Gru. although it is a 460 so it did live good come on be, be a wave that we actually need the demon potion i mean potentially might have maybe kinda 
Okay, all right, that's not bad. And with 50, um, don't need promotion stones. We have a new personal record here, guys. So that is a nice little bonus for us. I don't think we're going to get energy here, though. No. Nope. Needed that to drain energy two times in a row, but the active has such a low chance. We need an active. We have to use a demon potion here. It would have been great if we could have farmed up energy because we can't go in without energy, with a, with, without an active, because the DA is going to deny us that active, and we need actives on quad waves. It's the only way Tick survives. Double segment shouldn't be a problem. Farm up some energy here. Maybe... Maybe? No, I think we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna clap him. God, we have no health. Unbending, literally procking at the end. Uh-oh. Oh, God, all right. Drake, I need you to dodge. Dip, dodge, dive, dodge, and duck. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but we're not doing much damage. Big active. Oh, yes. Drake, you are the man. Oh, that was really nice. <laughs> all right, all right. This one, though, I think since we have zero energy, we do need to use a Demon Potion on Drake to progress. we got to get that Amon Ra down immediately. Otherwise, once those shields go up, it's pretty much a rip for us. Solo Amon Ra. Tix should be able to do this. Wait. No, we're going to run the Drake. Tick sometimes runs into an issue where he gets in this loop with Amon Ra where uh, he can't really kill her. Let's throw Ticks in. Maybe we can somehow farm energy, but I feel like... Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Ooh, okay. This is a... Oh, but this has the Ada in it. This... We might lose our Ticks right here, guys. But we got to save Demon Potions. We got to conserve them. We're up to death 30 with Ticks carrying us very hard. Oh, please, please. Oh, okay. 470s, we might run into an issue. Or 480s, we might run into an issue. But here, it wasn't too bad. Oh, here's our last Demon Potion, guys. We have to, because otherwise, we're going to get twined. And we'll have no other, no other hope. So, feels bad. Feels bad we couldn't have had some other heroes kind of stay in the fight with us. Losing that Aspen kind of hurt. But maybe we can farm up some energy, and if we can, we'll try to juggle it onto another hero, but yeah, that's not happening. That's not happening. Too much damage. Give a couple milks. I mean, we're not going to make it very much further anyway, simply due to the fact that we don't have enough milks to keep ticks going. You kind of need a hero to absorb the waves like this, like an Ada or something like that. that can, you can just throw in every wave. You know you'll win. You'll be able to save some health on him. Um, yeah, we can win this fight. We need one of the Aspen to crit us to give us extra energy. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay, we got the crit. And okay, all right, we got it. Waves like that's not too dangerous because we don't really feel like we're going to die round one. Oh, man. Oh, man. There goes, like, all of our milk. We have nothing left. But I feel like against the solo Valk, we need to be pretty much topped off here. Yeah, because we already procced. Oh, man. It's so close. So dangerous. We got a milk, so that's one of the few times I'll be like, yay, we actually got a milk. Um, Yes, we're topping him off. I know we're in trouble with milks, but we're topping him off. Okay, big active. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Maybe Tix can win this, but I don't know. I mean, we got to, what, 35 right now? We're on level 36. New personal record, guys. This is this is definitely potential death 50 at some point. We're still going. If we get some good RNG here, I mean, we can do this right here. All right, we've got energy as well, which will buy us maybe another round. Oh, Void Shia, why you? Why you, Void Shia? Why couldn't you be a quad wave or something that we needed it on? Oh, no, the priest wave. I don't know if we can do this. This is going to be risky. We're going full health in here. Are we going to get to 40? That's going to be amazing. Someone crit. 
Okay, we got a crit right there. Big damage. Now, please don't die to the Michelle. Please don't die to the Michelle. <laughs> that would feel so bad. All right, on to death 40. Can we do 40? I think we can, although we have no health left. We're literally about to die in every one of these fights from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please give me solo waves. Oh, this is it, guys. We are done. We did get to death 40, though. That is amazing. I did not see that coming. Yeah, knew that was about to be a death, but look at that, guys. We got up to number two, death 40, with this insanely weird and stupid team. So I'm happy about it. Granted, having level 345 definitely helps. Next time with that Aspen, maybe we'll be able to do a little bit better. A little bit more progress. I don't know. We'll have to see. But hey, that was a really good run. Better than the previous ones. So we'll definitely keep you updated on the evil meme team. Might not have that much progress for a little while here. We're going to aim for building another ticks or a carry. We'll see which one. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you liked it, guys, please hit that subscribe button. We're growing so fast. We have so many giveaways as well. Check out the description for all of the uh, CD key giveaways and account giveaways. So hopefully you guys enjoy those. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.